Here in Windows 8, using File Explorer, you have full control over how you view the various folders and files inside those folders and how those folders and files behave. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you're following along with me, we have our Exercise Files folder open. You can double click it wherever you stored it, such as the desktop, to open it up. And what you're going to see here is a default view for the various types of files contained in this folder. Because we have a mix of pictures, we have text files, we have music and video files here as well, what we're looking at is called the default view for details. We're seeing the names of the files. We're seeing the dates they were modified, the type of file, and we're also seeing the size of the file. Each of these columns has its own heading, and we can rearrange these. For example, if we click Name, we're going to see an alphabetical listing by name. If we click Name again, it's a reverse listing. Same thing goes for dates. If we click Date Modified, we can sort these by date. And if we click it again, we'll see the newest ones down to the oldest ones, and then reverse that. We can also group them by type, and you can see all of our picture files are together. And we can do the same with size. What you may have noticed, though, is that there's a little drop down next to each of these column headings as we hover over them. And that allows us to filter out certain items. So if you have a huge list of files in a folder, you can filter it down to locate the file you're looking for. For example, if we go to size and click the drop down, I see a couple of checkboxes here. I have one for large and one for huge files. And of course, if you have many, many more files of varying sizes, you'll have more checkboxes here. If I only want to see the huge files, I click that checkbox. You can see it's all whittled down to a single file. Deselect that and go to large, and I'll see all of them except the huge files. Deselect that, and I'm looking at all of them. Let's just click anywhere in an empty space to turn that off. The same goes for dates. If we click the date drop down, it's going to look a little bit different. In this case, we're going to be looking at a calendar where we can select a date range by clicking a date and then using our shift key to select another date. And that becomes the range. And you can see one file was modified in that date range. You can deselect that and just narrow it down to files that were modified earlier this year or just the files that were modified. Looks like yesterday for me. So these are options that you can select from the drop downs on the column headings. Now we can also change the way we view things from the view menu up here on the ribbon. Notice in the layout section, details is selected. But if you want to look at this in a different view, such as a list, where you lose the details, you can just hover over it or click it like I did to actually select it. Now we can see actually more files if we had them without all of the details taking up space in this window. Same thing goes for icons. Small icons give you an idea of the type of file you're looking at. If we go to large icons, you get more than just an icon representing the type of file. You actually see contents for some of these files. Picture files, for example, become thumbnails. You'll see a frame, for example, for a video file. Now, of course, we can't see what's inside a music file. It's audio, but we do see the headphones. And here's a text file. It's actually a PDF file. And we'll see an icon representing the reader that is used to open up a file of this type can even go all the way up to extra large icons. Let's go back to details. Now we can also pick and choose what details are going to be displayed here. And there's different ways to do that. We're going to start by choosing the properties of the folder. So in this case, we can either right click anywhere in the folder, or we could go back to the Home tab and go to the Properties drop down and choose Properties from here. Because none of the individual files are selected, we're going to be accessing properties for our exercise files folder. We can change the name if we wanted to and view details about the folder. But under the Customize tab is where we can go to change how we're viewing this. For example, we can optimize it for pictures. And when we do that, things are going to happen in the background when we apply this by clicking Apply. Notice that Tags now appears. That's something that's very useful when working with photos or pictures. And if we go back to our drop down and change it to documents, and then apply that as well by clicking apply, the tags disappear. And you can see the various columns that are going to show up by default. But let's just click cancel here and modify this ourselves by picking and choosing the columns we want to see. Again, we go back to the view tab. And over here on the right hand side, where it says add columns in the current view section, 
We can use this to add and remove columns from our view. Click the drop down, you'll see check marks next to the current columns that are being viewed. If we wanted to add, for example, tags to this, we can click tags from here, and now we have the tags column. Let's go back to that drop down and add the actual data it was created, not just modified. Now we have two date columns. Maybe they should be together. Let's click and drag from the column heading, move it over just after date modified and before type. Now we have a new column that we can sort by. And if we want to remove them, we just go back to that same drop down and click anything that's already checked. Maybe we don't need tags. And we'll go back to the add columns drop down and take out the date created. We're back where we started. Other options that are kind of important are in the show hide section. If you wanted to, you could add item checkboxes by clicking the checkbox. And now you're going to see checkboxes next to each of these. It's a great way, for example, if you want to pick and choose various files that needed to be moved, copied, or deleted, for example. You'll also see it for the folder itself back here in the desktop. If we deselect that, the checkboxes disappear. I like it. It's a great way to select the files that you want to work with. We can also view file name extensions from here. A lot of people like this. Yeah, we know it's a JPEG file, but seeing .jpg at the end really confirms that for us. So it's up to you if you want to see those or just simply leave the type column there. I'm going to turn that back off. And if you wanted to see hidden files, of course, there are a number of hidden files in Microsoft Windows. That can be turned on. There aren't any hiding, except you may have a version of the volunteer orientation letter hiding away in there, backup. And you won't see that unless you choose Hidden Files. So we'll deselect that as well. So those are some of the options for picking and choosing how your files will be displayed within folders and how those files and folders behave here in File Explorer.